Horrid Henry's author visit. Duh, duh, duh. Horrid Henry woke up. He felt strange. He felt happy. He felt excited. But why? Was it the weekend? No. Was it a day off school? No. Had Miss Batterax been kidnapped by aliens and transported to another galaxy to slave in the salt mines? No. Unfortunately. So why was he feeling so excited on a school day? And then Horrid Henry remembered. Oh, wow. It was book week at Henry's school, and his favourite author in the whole world, T.J. Fizz, the writer of the stupendous Ghost Quest, and mad machines and skeleton skunks was coming to talk to his class. Henry had read every single one of TJ's brilliant books, even after Lights Out. Rude Ralph thought they were almost as good as Mutant Max comics. Horrid Henry thought they were even better. Perfect Peter bounced into his room. Isn't it exciting, Henry? said Perfect Peter. Our class is going to meet a real life author. Milksop Miles is coming today. He's the man who wrote the Happy Nappy. Do you think he'd sign my copy? Horrid Henry snorted. The Happy Nappy? Only the dumbest book ever. All those giant nappies with names like Rappy Zand Nappy and Zappy Nappy and Tappy Nappy dancing and prancing about. And then the truly horrible Gappy Nappy who was always wailing I'm leaking! Horrid Henry shuddered. He was amazed that Milksop Miles dared to show his face after writing such a boring book. Only a wormy toad like you could write such a stupid story, said Peter, said Henry. It's not stupid, said Peter. It's too. It's not, and he's bringing his guitar. Miss Lovely said so. Big deal, said Horrid Henry. We've got T.J. Fizz. Herbert Peter shuddered. Her books are too scary. That's because you're a baby. Mum! shrieked Peter. Henry called me baby. Telltale, hissed Henry. Don't be horrid, Henry, shouted Mum. Horrid Henry sat in class with a huge carrier bag filled with all his TJ Fizz books. Everyone in the class had drawn book covers for Ghost Quest and Ghoul's Jewels and had written their own skeleton skunk story. Henry's, of course, was the best. Skeleton skunk meets Terminator Gladiator. May the smelliest fighter win. He would give it to TJ Fizz if she paid him a million pounds. Ten minutes to go. How could he live until it was time for her to arrive? Miss Battleaxe cleared her throat. Class? We have a very important guest coming. I know you're all very excited, but I will not tolerate anything but perfect behaviour today. Anyone who misbehaves will be sent out. Is that clear? She glared at Henry. Henry scowled back. Of course he would be perfect. TJ Fizz was coming. Has everyone thought of a good question to ask her? I'll write the best ones on the board, continued Miss Battleaxe. How much money do you make? shouted Rudolph. How many TVs do you have? shouted Horrid Henry. Do you like Fodge? shouted Greedy Graham. I said, good questions, snapped Miss Battleaxe. But what's your question for TJ Fizz? I don't know, Beaky Bert. Rumble! 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 Oops, Henry's tummy was telling him it was snack time. It must be all the excitement. It was strictly forbidden to eat in class, but Henry was a master sneaker. He certainly wouldn't want his tummy to gurgle while T.G. Fizz was talking. Miss Battleaxe was writing down Clever Claire's eight questions on the board. Slowly, carefully, silently, Horrid Henry opened his lunchbox under the table. Slowly, 
carefully, silently, he eased open the bag of crisps. Horrid Henry looked to the left. Rude Ralph was waving his hands in the air. Horrid Henry looked to the right. Greedy Graham was drooling and opening a bag of sweets. The coast was clear. Henry popped some super spicy hedgehog crisps into his mouth. Munch, crunch, munch, crunch, mm, munch, crunch. Come on, Henry, give me some crisps, whispered Rudolph. No, hissed Torrid Henry. Eat your own. Oh, I'm starving, mourned Greedy Graham. Give me a crisp. No, hissed Torrid Henry. Munch, crunch, yes. Huh? Miss Battleax towered over him, holding aloft his bag of crisps. Her red eyes were like two icy daggers. What did I tell you, Henry? said Miss Battleax. No bad behaviour will be tolerated. Go to Miss Lovely's class. But, but, TJ Fizz is coming, stuttered Tori Henry. I was just, Miss Battleax pointed to the door. Out! At... No! <laughs> Howled Henry. Horrid Henry sat in a tiny chair at the back of Miss Lovely's room. Never had he suffered such torment. He tried to block his ears as Milksop Miles read his horrible book for Peter's class. Hello, Cluppy, Peppy and Yappy. Can you find the leak? No, said Happy. No, said Cluppy. No, said Yappy. I can, said Gappy Mappy. Ah! Horrid Henry gritted his teeth. He would go mad having to listen to this a moment longer. He had to get out of here. All together now, let's sing the happy nappy song, trilled Milksop Miles, whipping out his guitar. Yay! cheered the infants. No! groaned Horrid Henry. Oh, I'm a happy nappy, a happy zappy nappy. I wrap up your bottom snug and tight and keep you dry all through the night. Oh, this was torture. No, this was worse than torture. How could he sit here listening to the horrible happy nappy song, knowing that just above him, TJ Fizz was reading from one of her incredible books, passing around the famous skunk skeleton and showing off her her ghost draw ghost guest drawings But he had to, but how? What if he joined in the singing? He could bellow, Oh, I'm a soggy nappy, a smelly, stinky nappy. Yes, that would certainly get him sent out the door straight to the head. Not back to his class and TJ Fizz. Horrid Henry closed his mouth. Rats. Maybe there'd be an earthquake, a power failure. May where was a fire drill when you needed one? He could always pretend he needed the toilet. But then when he didn't come back, they'd come looking for him. Or maybe he could just sneak away. Why not? Henry got to his feet and began to slide towards the door, trying to be invisible. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Whoa! Come back here, little boy, shouted Milksop Miles, twanging his guitar. Henry froze. Our party is just starting. Now who knows the happy nappy dance? I do, said Peppa Peter. I do said Goody Goody Gun. We all do, said Tidy Ted. Everyone on their feet, said Milksop Miles. Ah, a one, a two, let's all do the nappy dance. Nap, 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 nappy, warbled Miles. 
Nap, 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 nappy. Warble Peter's first, dancing away. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Horror and Henry started dancing. Slowly, he tapped his way closer and closer and closer to the door and freedom. Horrid Henry reached for the doorknob. Miss Lovely was busy dancing in the corner. Just a few more steps. Who's going to be my little helper while we act out the story? Beamed Miles. Who would like to play Happy Nap the Happy Nappy? Me! Me! Squealed Miss Lovely's floss. Horrid Henry sank against the wall. Come on, don't be shy, said Miles, pointing straight at Henry. Come on up and put on the magic happy nappy. And he marched over and dangled an enormous blue nappy in front of Henry. It was over one metre wide and one metre high, with a hideous smiling face and big googly eyes. Horrid Henry took a step back. He felt faint. The giant nappy was looming above him. In a moment... It would be over. His head and he'd be trapped inside. His name would be mud forever. Henry the nappy. Henry the giant nappy. Henry the giant happy nappy. Ah! Screamed Horrid Henry. Get away from me! Milkstop Miles stopped waving the gigantic nappy. Oh dear, he said. Oh dear said Miss Lovely. Don't be scared, said Miles. Scared? Horrid Henry. Scared? Of a giant nappy? Henry opened his mouth to scream. And then he stopped. What if... Help! Help! I'm being attacked by a nappy! Screeched Henry. Help! Milksop Miles looked at Miss Lovely. Miss Lovely looked at Milksop Miles. Help! Help! Henry, are you okay? piped Perfect Peter. No! wailed Horrid Henry, cowering. I'm. I'm. nappy phobic! Never mind, said Milksop Mars. You're not the first boy who's been scared of a giant nappy. I'm sure I'll be fine if I go back to my own class, gasped Horrid Henry. Miss Lovely hesitated. Horrid Henry opened his mouth to howl. Run along then! said Miss Lovely quickly. Horrid Henry did not wait to be asked. He raced out of Miss Lovely's class, then dashed upstairs to his own. Skeleton skunk, here I come, thought Henry, bursting through the door. There was the great and glorious TJ Fizz, just about to start reading a brand new chapter from her latest book, Skeleton Stink Bomb. Hallelujah, he was in time. Henry! What are you doing here? hissed Miss Butterlap. Miss Lovely sent me back, beamed Horrid Henry. And you did say we should be on our best behaviour today, so I did what I was told. Henry sat down as TJ began to read. The story was amazing. Ah, <sighs> sighed Horrid Henry happily. Wasn't life grand? Na na na.